What's happening everybody? Jeff Anderson here with One Fish Two Fish. This is the top five beach fishing mistakes and how to catch more fish. We're gonna talk about the mistakes that I see people making and then I'm gonna to talk to y'all about the things that you need to do to catch more fish. So we don't wanna just focus on the negative, we're gonna focus on the positive, how you guys can catch more fish, maximize your time right here on the beach. So let's get right to it. Mistake number one. I'm gonna start with more of like the locations and where people spend their time fishing in the great wide open, the Atlantic Ocean is right behind me. So how the heck do you dial down a specific area to target where these fish are? The number one mistake that I see people making is I'm a really big surfer. And a lot of times you see surfers all stacked up around the pier. I don't know what it is, you guys. Like if someone asked me where I wanna go surfing, I wanna go surfing where there's decent waves, but not a lot of people. I don't like being in a crowd. I like having waves all by myself. Well, fishing, it's no different. Actually, I like fishing where there's not crowds. And a lot of times, fishermen, especially saltwater anglers, and people who either have been fishing their entire life, or if you're new to saltwater fishing, People like to fish where other people are fishing because they think that that's where fish are. You guys, that's the number one mistake that I see people making. Right here is a pier that's right behind me. And Christy, shout out to my wife, she catches more fish than I do right here next to the pier. We will be fishing right here in the surf zone and you have all these people who pay like $10 a pop to get out on the pier. You buy bait on the pier. Uh, you buy your ticket to get onto the pier, and then you go fish where? You go to the end of the pier where everybody else is, or you go midway down the pier. Why? Because that's just where everybody is, and that's where you think all the fish are. That is a big mistake. A pier is a great area, and we're gonna talk about pier fishing in this video, but a pier is a great area to fish in and around because there's structure, there's depth changes. But around piers, because you have that abrupt change in the topography and everything it's going to naturally attract life and it's going to attract fish but that doesn't mean that all the fish are going to be stacked up around the pier no way a lot of times Christy and i you will see us fishing right in and around the pier but we'll be in the same zone that these fish are going to be in so we'll be i don't know about like 300 yards 400 yards you know away from the pier and we're fishing that next deeper slough that next deep spot or just that next sandbar right in and around the pier so guys that's mistake number one is people fish where they think everybody's fishing is where they think that all the fish are in the ocean just because you see people fishing in a certain area maybe that's a giveaway that there's okay there's a lot of life around there but that doesn't mean that you need to fish right there in that specific area. You know, hopefully you guys watch our videos, watch videos on YouTube, read articles. You can self-educate yourself because again, a lot of people, they just go to the tackle shop and they follow fishing reports, which is fine and dandy, but they just go to the pier, they go to the main quote unquote fishing spots. They're not finding their own spots or you're just not like out there you know, again, you guys, a lot of times, even if there's people fishing in a certain area on a pier, maybe try a different area of that pier. If there's a lot of people on the end of it, maybe try right in the breakers. But if you're just catching redfish, flounder, sheep's head, speckled trout, things like that, a lot of times, you guys, it's not gonna be off the end. It's gonna be right here in the surf zone. Um, so anyways, that's my long-winded spiel for mistake number one, which leads me to kind of like mistake number two and it is another surf analogy there's the hunters and there's the hunted the hunted those people who are not really um actively seeking fish they're they're the hunted they're just kind of you know whatever they're like oh it was bad luck today the fish weren't biting honestly it could have been like a hundred yards down the beach it could have been a submerged structure off of the beach or like a drop off a slough that they didn't know about that you know they're, they're just thinking oh that's bad luck when i get to the beach i'm always looking i'm hunting 
I like to consider myself as the hunter. So I'm always looking, I'm always observing. You know, if there's birds in a certain area, if there's pelicans flying over a certain area, if I see life or dolphins for that matter, you know, in a, in a certain area, that's going to pinpoint certain things. So I was actually reviewing some footage and I wanted to show y'all this exact example. We started in one area, we kept moving. We didn't see any life, nothing. Then this next spot, look, you'll hear me say, I just saw a cormorant. Oh, we got a cormorant. And we just kept moving and you guys, first cast, you know, we were, we oh, had yeah. been, you know, first probably cast. spent an first hour cast. and a half I'm driving on. around finding fish. Yeah. And then we got on one look of the best bites yeah, ever. Good one. So this is an example of finding your fish and being the hunter. So you guys, mistake number two is I see people being the hunted, not the hunter. So there's just kind of like a different mindset there that even if you don't really fish off the beach that often or ever, doesn't mean you're the hunted, doesn't mean you can't be the hunter. It's just a, a change of confidence is a big part of that be the hunter be the hunter and you guys will catch more fish mistake number three that i see people make beach fishing is they're just using the wrong type of bait and again these are kind of like the hunted people they go to the tackle shop they buy frozen squid frozen mullet you know just frozen bait i almost will never use frozen mullet uh, frozen squid or really like any of those frozen baits. The only thing that I will use frozen from the tackle shop is sand fleas. So I don't know what it is about like sheep's head and sea mullet and even redfish, red drum. Um, and flounder, <laughs> there's a lot of fish that eat sand fleas, but something about sand fleas, it honestly, if you catch them right here in the sand in the surf zone or use them frozen, uh, of course, the fresh ones are gonna give you a slight advantage, but the frozen ones work too. So, it's mistake number three is people, they're not really using the best bait. Um, and that's another thing too, like we'll be fishing right next to something at the pier, and they're just not really catching. They're using squid, or they're using like frozen uh, mullet, or whatever, frozen, frozen bait that they got from the tackle shop. If you're fishing on a pier, and there's people using like frozen squid or frozen mullet, and I'm using fresh blue crab, chances are I'm probably gonna outfish those people nine times out of 10 who are using those frozen bait. Guys, because saltwater fish scent is really, really important. So when you're fishing off the beach, definitely wanna be using a better bait than the person fishing next to you because it really does make a difference. Um, so bait is really, really, really important. So that's the mistake number three is people, they're not using the best bait. All right, so mistake number four for people fishing off the beach that I see people making is they're using hooks and gear that are too big. So here's some footage of Christy and I two weeks ago, and we were catching some pretty nice sized fish um, that day. Like I think it was like a mid 20 inch uh, red fish, red drum. Really nice fish that we caught off the beach. You guys, that was with like super tiny hooks. I think those were like barely one-aught hooks. I don't even know if they were one-aught. They were like either a one or two-aught hooks. And so that's the common, so that's a common mistake that I see people making when they're beach fishing is they're using hooks, they're using gear that's too big. And that's why I'm a firm believer if you're using those high-low rigs, the bottom rigs um, in the tackle shop, you're, you're using gear that's like big, it's clunky, it doesn't look natural then that's gonna significantly decrease your chances of catching fish. So anything that looks natural, um, smaller hooks, you guys, we've caught big old sharks um, off the beach and just big game fish off the beach with like the smallest hook that you could think. Tarpon fishing, when people are tarpon fishing down in Florida and they're fishing the tarpon run, sometimes tarpon, the bite is so finicky that they're using one ot hooks for tarpon and that's like 150 plus pound fish that's like the pinnacle fish of the ocean for near shore fishing is tarpon and people are using small small hooks for tarpon so if they can catch tarpon you can pretty much catch anything that you want to off the beach so the last mistake mistake number five that i see people making that's related to bait and tackle is that people 
um, they're not using the proper gear, they're not using the proper weights. Um, there's a lot of different options and Christy and I we're going to have some tutorials on videos about the best gear, the best weights to use. But a lot of people, they're not. So in order to catch fish, number one, there has to be fish for you to catch. So you have to be in the right spot. Number two, you have to present that bait, whatever you're using, live or artificial, correctly so that fish is going to eat it. Well, if you're using a weight that is too small in the ocean, then you're not gonna hold. You're not gonna hold bottom. Therefore, you're not gonna be allowing your bait to sit in the water for the appropriate amount of time. You're always gonna have to recast. You're gonna, you know, it's gonna drift into the pier or whatever. So when it comes to gear and tackle, I like to use the lightest possible gear that I can get away with that's going to hold and best position that bait or that lure to the fish. So one of the more common baits that we use off of the beach is gonna be sand fleas or cut crab, quarter chunks of blue crab. Quarter chunks of blue crab is a great bait. Fresh blue crab from the tackle shop, live crab, pop the shell off, cut it into four pieces, put it on a hook, make sure it holds bottom. If there's fish around there, you're gonna catch those fish because blue crab just has such a great scent to it. But if you're casting it out, and again, the tide moving here in the outer banks behind me, there's a lot of moving water down here. There's rip currents, there's you know things like that. There's a lot of currents. So a lot of people, I see them, they're using like one ounce weights and their line has a big bow in it and they're not able to really even detect a bite. So that's why if you're using gear that's too light, then typically you're not gonna be able to effectively fish that bait. You're not gonna allow that bait to sit where it needs to sit for the amount of time for that fish to eat it. So you wanna use, typically I'm using about three ounces when it's like a normal day in the ocean like this. You know, it's not super big waves. Um, it's not super flat. About a two to three ounce weight is what I'm using. And you guys, we got plenty of videos out there. We're gonna leave a link in the description below for different uh, videos that we have to, you know, best rigs to use, and the best weights to use, how to choose all those things. That's the mistake number five that I see. Again, just to kind of put all this together, to wrap this all up, is make sure that you guys are putting yourself in the right position to catch these fishes. If that means you gotta move around the pier, you know, you're fishing off the end of the pier, you're fishing off, you know, just right here, right in the breakers, right in the surf zone. Move around, don't be afraid to move around, don't be afraid to break away from the crowd. And also, don't be afraid to make your own decision about where you want to fish. So you guys, that's all I got for today. Hopefully this video helps y'all out catch more fish here at the beach. You guys keep watching our videos. Winter time, we're gonna be making a lot more tutorials. So when it's summertime, you guys are here, y'all be catching more fish. All right, y'all, peace out.